Hey everybody, my name is Paul Leston Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash boygreen25. Baby, make sure you do your part. Get your participation trophy for today's show by liking the video and hitting subscribe down below. That helps keep the wheels moving here on the show, and we always appreciate your support. We got a massive update, and as always, you guys can read the article down below in the YouTube description to follow along throughout today's program. And uh, shout out to Rich Zemini of ESPN who provided this update on Makai Becton. Of course, before we get the update, uh, just a quick thing that uh, last year, of course, uh, Makai Becton suffered what is uh, described as an avulsion fracture to his right kneecap. That sounds uh, disgusting and also quite painful and obviously he was ruled out for the season uh, in August a new update from Rich Samini says quote all signs point to Makai Becton being ready for training camp end quote and that's magnificent news uh, by every uh, different uh, you know uh, evaluation method now I didn't know much about quote unquote avulsion fractures before I started doing some more research but we also have some doctors intel in our article down below but the recovery timeline from an avulsion fracture which by the way could happen to a variety of your uh, body parts in this per specific case it's uh, Mikhail Becton's knee it could take up to 12 weeks to fully recover from this. And obviously, it's different for everybody, including a massive man the size of Makai Becton. He heals a little bit differently, has more weight on those joints than other people would. But nonetheless, up to 12 weeks for that. And what is an avulsion fracture? It is, quote, a piece of bone attached to a ligament or tendon breaks away from the main part of the bone. Gross. This, of course, was the second surgery that Beckton has had on his right knee because, of course, in 2021 against Carolina Panthers, he suffered both a kneecap dislocation, ugh, brutal, and a MCL sprain as well. So obviously Beckton has been through it here from a medical perspective. The other update from Ritsamini is Neil Ochertosh. I, you know, I always butcher that. I hear other people say it pretty good, but uh, that's the orthopedist out in LA. He gave uh, Makai Beckton quote, a positive update according to Ritsamini. And really, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, if you follow him on Twitter at big ticket 73, but I've noticed a palpable change in the demeanor and energy of Makai Becton. If you go back to last year, a big thing with Makai Becton was wearing the t-shirts with the big circle that had all the names people call him like bust and fat and lazy and all these things. And he kind of had this chip on his shoulder, which by the way, I, I want to note this, that players can do whatever the hell they want. I, you know, I'm not going to tell them how to use a chip on their shoulder if they have it, but you know, I remember that energy and I'm like, okay, if you want to use that and that's going to work for you, Makai Becton, fantastic. But it, you know, he gets injured and, and this off season, it doesn't seem like he's using it like in a, in an angry way, like haters and stuff. It's a different vibe. If you watch him on social media, he's posting these po positive updates, his workout videos, his workout photos, of course, hanging out with guys like Francis and Ganu of the UFC and Arnold Schwarzenegger. No intro uh, required, but he's posting these and, and he seems so happy and there's a fire in his eye and, and there's just genuine passion, which I could just respect and appreciate. And then it's cool that Jet fans have kind of picked up on this energy and you see Mekhi Becton re retweet them all the time and retweet them all the time. It's jet fans getting in on the, on the, on the workout photos, the workout videos, the progress they're like buying in. So Makai Becton is spreading this super cool, positive message for fans to buy into and show their updates and their progress. And Makai Becton doing it as well. Again, in case you missed it, Makai Becton has dropped down to 350 pounds. According to Rich Samini, he has dropped 40 plus pounds. Congratulations to Makai Becton. Now that's great news in general, but also great news for a surgically repaired knee because because the less weight on the less weight overall you have, the less stress uh, potentially uh, on those things. And again, 350 pounds may still sound like a big number to some of you out there. But think about this: when Makai Becton was trying to cut a bunch of weight and look the best he possibly could at the NFL Combine three years ago in Indianapolis. He weighed then 364 pounds. That was his good number, like, hey, look at me. And he ran that 40-yard uh, dash in under five seconds and stuff like that. 
Now he's down to 350. So he's dropped 14 pounds off his best weight from a few years ago. So it just goes to show you the massive difference uh, that it's made here for Makai Becton. So again, it looks like he's going to be good for training camp. Remember, the Jets originally put him IR in the middle of August last year. So less than a year later, he could be back already for the Jets, which is exciting news, of course, because in terms of the pivot point, we've talked a little bit about this. I don't think there's a player on this roster outside of quarterback or Aaron Rodgers, if he eventually gets here, where if he's good, the ripple effects it has on everybody else. If Makai Becton's healthy and dominating, watch out world, uh, potentially uh, from that perspective. Now, right now, it looks like the Jets have a few options at offensive tackle for the 2023 season. You have Dwayne Brown. Okay, you got Max Mitchell and you got Mekhi Becton. Now, the problem is, of course, each of them have very serious questions. Max Mitchell, the blood clot situation, which was super scary. All signs say he's looking good, but again, that's very scary. Mekhi Becton is aforementioned. We just walked through all his injuries. And Dwayne Brown's going to be 38 before the season starts, and he's entering the last year of his deal. So, you know... There's a lot of questions with each of those guys, so it would not surprise anyone, of course, if they make a heavy investment in the trenches in the 2023 NFL Draft. Joe Douglas said that they will not announce the decision publicly on whether or not they're going to exercise or decline the fifth-year option for Mekhi Becton. That decision will have to come in early May. I think probably no matter what they're declining it, to be honest, it's $13.5 million. It is uh, guaranteed for injury, fully guaranteed. So, you know, I don't think no matter what happens, they're going to exercise it, quite frankly. But again, Joe Douglas leaving the door open because you never know what happens during the draft. Maybe, you know, all the offensive linemen they want at each of those spots somehow, some way are not available and they're not able to draft the guy. So it wouldn't make sense to decline it right now when you have the time. And then all of a sudden you get no one in the uh, draft and you're like, ah, oh, man, look where we're at. So it, it's smart to play out the decision, even if we all believe we know what it's going to be uh, from a Kai And Here's the other thing I think people forget. This young man is 23 years old. He actually turns uh, 24 later this week. So uh, shout out to my Kai Beckton. He's just so young, so massive, of course, at six foot seven, 350 pounds. I mean, this guy's a freak of nature. And this is the reason the Jets took him 11th overall in the first round of the 2020 NFL draft, the very first draft selection uh, for Joe Douglas as the general manager of the New York Jets. Now, the 2020 class, obviously, overall is not looking great. Uh, poor one out for Braden Mann out there, but. Nonetheless, this one has a chance to still have a happy ending, to still have this great story at the end, and I hope so, because Mekhi Becton is a super talented dude, and he has, as uh, that one NFL executive said maybe a year or two ago, Hall of Fame potential, and he really means that. So uh, we'll see how this story continues to develop. Again, major props, major major shout-out to gosh darn Mekhi Becton, baby, looking fantastic. Again, you guys could read more in the article down below, a little bit about the rehab recovery and some more about a Vulsion fractures, some stuff you may not know. So feel free to check out the article, like the video, hit subscribe, baby. We always appreciate the support. There's plenty of really cool videos on the channel. I think you guys are really going to dig from some of our live shows to some of our special guests. And uh, we finally booked it. We'll have that Jets player I promised on the show this week. Had to reschedule for him, but we'll have it on this week. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.